today I am walking around just kind of visiting a lot of different venues. We're here at the um, Jeans, Mobby Jeans right now. And uh, just like, you know, I, I think that they're going to donate a um, $1,000 to charity for every celebrity that comes by. So I just wanted to make this a stop in my day today. I've got a mini series called Man Eater coming out this weekend on Lifetime, and um, I have a movie with Will Ferrell and Jeremy Piven coming out. It's called The Goods Live Hard, Sell Hard. It will be out August 14th. What's the Man Eater about? Because this is eligible TV for single women. Does it have anything to do with that? Um, yeah, definitely. Man eater is a phrase that um, is coined by Gigi Lavangi Grazer, who is um, the author of *The Starter Wife*, and she wrote *Man Eater*. And um, so, man eater refers to a woman who is single and basically can just grab any guy that she wants. And the story is about a group of women who are in their 30s who. Um, are, are approaching their 30s and they, they're sc starting to reach that scary age where they want to be married and settle down and so they use all their feminine wiles to get, grab a man. So it's funny. I'm liking the boyfriend jeans. <laughs> um, and I like the nerds and the drinks and the food, skin, care and the those things, the Wonka things. Tell me about the new movie that's coming out. You're starring with Cody Lindley? It's called Forget Me Not. Um, it's coming out in Halloween and I want you guys to see it. And it's really scary because we went to the pre-screening. Everybody there was screaming. They were so scared. They were like, no, no, don't go in there. No, no. Ah! It was so funny. I was laughing so hard. My mom's like, you should be scared. I was like, no, just look at everyone else. And I look back and they're all like. Can you tell me your relationship with Cody in the movie? Um, well, I play young Angela, which is the girl that goes and kills everyone. So she um, she doesn't really meet until she's all in her dead mode. She doesn't really meet Cody. Mm. I was going to ask you if you were a good girl or a bad girl. Sounds like you're a little bad girl. Well, when I'm younger, I'm a good girl. But when she's in her coma, she's watch evil. out. She's evil. Yeah, watch out. Tell me now, you're involved in some charities. Can you tell me about that? I am. I'm involved with a charity called Love Cures All. Uh, we threw our first event a couple months ago uh, for Love Cures Cancer, which uh, all proceeds went to Los Angeles Children's Hospital. And we are um, moving towards rebuilding their um, their lobby with te basically playgrounds, televisions, and giving the children more of an opportunity to expand their, their learning environment. And uh, yeah, $20,000 was our, was our first uh, contribution to them and everything is building and moving in the right directions. We're making wonderful relationships and we are a fully nonprofit, 100%. By definition, you don't have to be, but we are. We have no overhead and nobody gets paid and uh, we're doing something very cool. Opportunity in the future can take us anywhere. We can we can go to Africa. We can um, move move on to other terminal illnesses, and um, you know it just leaves it open for any any you know. We can go work with PETA if we wanted to. So the idea that you can have friends and family and strangers come out and support a cause and, and be touched by it and touch others in return is a wonderful feeling. Just to be able to bring those people together to make a difference. Yeah. Lasse, are you having fun here at this MTV suite? Yeah, I have to say I am. This is this is wild. This is fun. You picked up anything interesting? A pair of jeans. Um, I got some beverages and Willy Wonka, who obviously I love, gave me some candy. So this is um, brand new sweet popcorn clusters. This is chocolate cookie caramel pecan. We also have cranberry almond and honey multigrain. And what's so great about these is they're really limited in terms of fat, calories, and sugar, but we've also got five grams of fiber and an excellent source of calcium, all the things that women really need. Yeah, you, you talk a lot about this being a snack for women. Can men enjoy it as well? Sure, they're, you know, they're great for everyone. They're good for men, they're good for kids. But you know what our research shows that women feel guilty about everything. I mean, the, the part of the brain that focuses on guilt is just so enlarged in women that they're always kind of dwelling on things that, choices that they've made. And so the great thing about smart food is we've taken away all the things that make women feel guilty and just given them an indulgent treat that they can enjoy and not feel bad about. So we're here with Layla. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing. We meet again. <laughs> what are you doing here today? Getting some gifts. You want the honest truth? Getting free stuff. Who doesn't like that? Especially in this day and age, <laughs> the way the economy is. Anything fun that you've seen so far? You know what? So far, I just literally got here, and you just grabbed me, so I haven't really seen anything. There was some cool. Um, there's some cool jeans here. There's some candy, some el elixir drinks for my skin. 
So it's good. It's good. Do you have any other projects in the works? Tons, but I can't talk about any of them right now. <laughs> I'm not exclusive with EligibleTV.com. But maybe next time you get me somewhere, I could. Can you see if they're reality or movie or TV? I can't. I can't. I can't. But so, I will next time you see me, I promise. Any summer plans? Um, yes, I'm going to Europe. Gonna do the whole tour of Europe, so I'm very excited. Is that your first time over there? It's my first time during, doing the entire tour, but it's definitely not my first time going to Greece, which I love Greece. Oh, I'm Greek. Are you serious? Hold on, I know some Greek words. Saganaki, Teramosalata. <laughs> what else? That's all I know. You want to say Tikanis? That Tikanis. That means how are you? Tikanis, how are you? There's a Greek girl on my show, Patricia. She's number nine. And if someone says Tikanis to you, say Kala. Kala. That means I'm good. Okay, good. Kala. Are you going to the MTV Awards this yes, weekend? I am. I'm very excited about it. Sunday. Are you presenting or doing anything? No, just going. Just going. Having a good time. That's, that's the only thing on my agenda. <laughs> no, um, I've been doing. Uh, I've been working on the alumni concert for Value Theater in Arizona with Jordan Sparks and Chelsea Staub. So I'm doing that this weekend, and then after that, you know, I'm just going to take it easy, start looking for work again. Do you have a summer plans, a getaway? You know, I live in California. I'm very spoiled with the weather, so I'm hitting the beach a lot. I'm getting a bike for my birthday, so we can ride the bikes together, me and Katie. Um, so we're really excited. I'm really excited to have a good summer. So have you picked up anything interesting here at the MTV Suite? You know, I got a lot of candy which I love candy. I love Wonka candy, so I got a lot of Wonka candy. I got some amazing jeans. I got uh, this pomegranate drink, which was amazing. I wish I knew the name, but I don't. But it was amazing, and I'm planning on getting some more stuff. So I'm very excited. about to go uh, get a dope, cool carry-on bag. Very lightweight, very durable. <laughs> I just did a commercial. First of all, tell me, are you having fun at this suite today? I'm having a blast. I'm, I'm, I'm living a dream. A lot of people are like, oh, it must be really cool to get all this free stuff. It's like, nah, I work really hard to get here. You know, but uh, it's really cool to be a part of, uh, you know, Platinum uh, Suites and everything and um, see all this new stuff coming out and to kind of get first dibs on it to really see how it works and, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm happy to be here and spread the word. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Great. We have the newest line from Mandarina Duck, an Italian luggage company. It's called The Drop. It's super lightweight. I know you could probably carry the heavy stuff, but... Uh... I, yeah, it was probably better than Wow. <laughs> no, this is cool. Yeah. It's, the, it's their new hard luggage line, but it's not as heavy as traditional hard luggage, which makes it really great and sleek. It comes in many colors. You've got the rubber-protecting zippers. You've got the TSA-approved security locks. And then, of course, inside you've got your, all of your compartments that make it really easy. There's also a great overnight bag that you can throw your laptop in a mm -hmm. sleeve, your files, some clothes. So when you're on the go and you're a hot in-demand actor, you need luggage that can make your life easier. That's right. And uh, at the same time, it's sexy, you know, and I'm all about the sexy. Why do you say it's sexy? What makes it sexy? Because I think it's lightweight, like aerodynamic, and it looks good for a girl or a guy, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I think when we're traveling as actors and entertainers, actors and entertainers, you want to come correct all the time, you know what I mean? Image and, you know, your appearance is very important. I think having a bag like this is like, you know, it's ideal. I'm with it. You don't want to look like everybody else. I don't, I don't want to look like everybody else. And that's why I'm going to have one today. Where's your next trip that you're going to use this? Um, right now it's either De either Detroit's coming up next or, or New York. One of, one of, of course, I got my Metro car shirt doing a real big. Just got back from New York, but we're trying to work something, a film that's uh, being shot in Detroit. So that's probably my next place of business. Can you tell us what the film is? Shh. That's not the name of the film. The film's not shh, but I got to shh. Hush, hush. Can you tell us what you play? I play a sexy brother. <laughs> no, I'm a, a brother to a girl, but like, I mean, I'm a brother, but a brother to the girl. That's what's up. <laughs>